Hello and welcome to Andre's video blog for October 10th, 2010. Well, as many of you may know, yesterday would have been the 70th birthday of John Lennon. Now, all of my life I've been exposed to the music of the Beatles and John Lennon and stories about his life in and out of the group and with Yoko Ono for many, many years. And I just thought it might be kind of amusing to share some opinions and some thoughts about John uh, on his birthday weekend. To me, anyway, John's always kind of represented a uh, a certain mixture of both the idealistic and cynical attitudes of youth and sometimes he seemed to be somewhat hostile and very close-minded and other times he appeared to embrace social change on a grand scale and his music notwithstanding this was a man who consistently challenged different opinions about culture and religion he married a Japanese woman at a time when prejudice against such things was very heavy. I remember distinctly reading stories about how people used to tell him that Yoko would slit his throat in his sleep and stuff like that. And also, um, during his youth, he made comments about the Beatles being more pop popular than Jesus Christ and Christianity vanishing and shrinking and then later on actually went as far as referring to the song Imagine as talking about the condemnation of religious denomination rather than religious religion itself. Then again in the same song he also sang about imagining no possessions when this guy rode around in expensive Rolls Royces and bought out half of New York. He seemed to be a guy of contradiction, and always contradicting himself, and, you know, like Bob Dylan, gathering up a lot of uh, unusual fans and sycophants, and unfortunately, one such person ended up doing John in tragically when I was about six months old. Now, what's my opinion on John Lennon? Is he overrated? Is he underrated? Is he overexposed? Is he underexposed? Well, I don't know about the man so much. All I know is that like a lot of people, I happen to believe that songs like Imagine and um, Love, a song from his first solo uh, vocal album, Plastic Ono Band in 1970, in a very basic way, actually epitomize the message that he would personally want to say to the world while as other songs such as God or Crippled Inside um, or later on um, Number Nine Dream or perhaps uh, even Watching the Wheels were more personal. He could reflect his ego inward and outward and like a lot of great people from a lot of places that do that, he managed to capture the attention of the world and of mine. So wherever John is now, I just wanted to wish him the best wherever he is. And uh, even though we miss you, you know, your music is still here to remind us of when you were around. Signing out for now.